हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक साइन बार्स सो व्हाट आर दीज साइन बार्स सो साइन बार इज बेसिकली डिजाइंड फॉर प्रिसाइज सेटिंग आउट ऑफ एंगल्स सो टू सेट एंगल्स दीज साइन बार्स आर डिजाइंड so they are made up of high carbon high chromium or any corrosion resistant steels which can be hardened ground and stabilized which can be hardened ground and stabilized so as we can see in this figure it consists of two cylinders of equal diameters which are attached at the ends so there are two cylinders here they have equal diameter and they are attached at the ends and these are the end bases so the axis of these two cylinders must be mutually parallel to each other and they are also parallel and at equal distance from the upper surface of the sign bar so the axes of these two cylinders must be parallel to each other and they are also parallel to and at equal distance to the upper surface that is this surface of the sign bar so the distance between the axes of the cylinder mostly will be 100 200 and 300 mm in metric system so depending upon the accuracy of the center distance sign bars are graded as grade a and grade b so grade a will give you accuracy up to 0.01 mm of length and b grade will give you accuracy up to 0.02 mm of meter so there are two cylinders of equal diameter attached at the ends okay as shown in this figure then the axes of these cylinders are mutually parallel to each other and also parallel to and equal distance from the upper surface of the sign bar so these are the relief holes that are present on the sign bar so the distance between these two cylinders may be 100 mm 200 mm and 300 mm so depending upon the accuracy of the center distance the sign bars may be graded as grade a or grade b so grade a has accuracy of 0.01 mm of length and grade b has accuracy of 0.02 mm of length mm meter mm per meter of length the next is the principle of a sign bar so we know that sign bar is designed basically for precise setting out of angles and is generally used in conjunction with the slip gauges and surface plate so it is designed for precise angle setting and is used along with or in conjunction with slip gauges and surface plates so the principle of operation of a sign bar relies upon the application of trigonometry so here 
we can see that we are using this slip gauge stakes here and there is a surface plate and this is the setup of the sign bar which is kept here so this sign bar works on the principle of application of trigonometry so if l is the distance between the two cylindrical rollers okay these setting rollers are at a distance of l then let us consider theta is the angle which is formed here if a is a point here and if b is a point on the other roller the center of these rollers and if capital h is the height of the slip gauge stakes and if c is a point on this slip gauges so if you form the angle here we can so if this is a this is b this is c and if you form an angle like this then if the angle is theta then we can write in the right angle triangle abc as shown in this figure the ratio of the length bc to that of the hypotenuse ab is referred to as sine of the angle theta so in the right angled triangle abc the ratio of length of bc to that of the hypotenuse which is ab is referred as sin of the angle theta so we can write bc divided by ab is equal to sin theta so using this above principle it is possible to set out in precisely any angle by using a standard length of side ab and marking of the length of side bc equal to ab multiplied by the sin of the angle the sign bar is placed on a surface plate with a slip gauges of required height so this sign bar is placed on the surface plate with a required height of slip gauges under one roller and opposite to angle theta then the angle can be given as that is h under rollers opposite to angle theta then theta can be written as sin inverse of h by l so this is the principle of the sign bar the next one accuracy requirement of sign bar so what are the requirements for accurate angle precision or angle making by the sign bar first point is the axis of the rollers must be parallel to each other and the center distance must be precisely known the second point says that the top surface of the sign bar must be flat and parallel to the plane connecting the axes of the roller so the top surface must be flat and it must be parallel to the plane of the axes of the rollers